Hey there guys, WolfTM2008 here and welcome to 2017 on my channel, which is going to be a lot more active because I'm proposing to obviously upload at least the minimum of one video per month, so this is January's. Um, and I'm going back to my roots on this video, I'm going for a great or good uh, on-screen tutorial, because um, I think you're going to be sick of seeing my face in February and March due to the fact that I think I'm going to do a two-parter for my Australia trip. Don't know, haven't quite decided yet. I'll figure that out later on. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about KMS Pico. So KMS, as you may or may not know, is key management system. Um, now I use KMS Pico largely in virtual machines just to put a temporary license on there just to check um, and use the system as if it were proper and with a license just to check out some new software before I release that into my live environment so just to show you my system at the moment um, it's not activated so obviously that's not good so we're just gonna solve this okay so first thing you need to do is go to the internet and you need to go to this web address which will be in the video description down below so fear not and what you need to do is scroll down and the one you want is this one here so it's easier to download from this one here and just click on it and what you need to do is download and download as zip archive so you do need some sort of uh, zipping tool so I'm just gonna plunk this onto my desktop like so and now we don't need this anymore so let's just uh, get rid of that okay so before we use this uh, what we need to do is you need to um, disable some antivirus software whether you've got Windows Defender, Avast, AVG, something like that and um, just temporarily because for some reason it sees it as a false positive so I'm just going to disable this for 10 minutes and yes to any overrides there so basically you just need to open this and what you need is this one here and this one here now, both of these are password protected. The password is on the My Digital Life page, and it is 2016. I'll just enter that there. And what I'm going to do is just press run. And yes, to any user account control settings, I'll just go through the agreement. And yes to this, yes to this. Just finishing the installation. take a little bit of time unfortunately on this part hopefully it should come up telling us it's done I'm just going to minimize this and this well he said it should come up telling us it's done but uh, apparently it is not at this moment in time so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check so open up your start menu type in about and go down to about your PC open that up and scroll down to here and as you can see it is now activated so as you can see really simple to get you sorted out and that is my first and quick video of 2017 now obviously I'm not condoning uh, using this as a replacement for legitimate Microsoft license files in any way shape or form this video is purely for educational purposes only and for aiding people in the use of virtual machines for testing purposes. So then guys, what I will do is I shall end this video here. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also join me over on Instagram. I'll have a little snippet on the screen right now uh, of my Instagram page. I'm basically doing a 365 day challenge where I post a photo every day. Let's see if I can include that. And also join me on my Snapchat and Facebook. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.